Welcome back, guys, to a, I guess, a quick little Sunday update here on Central Oregon Shenanigans. Today has been beautiful. We're almost topping 70 on the puppy thermometer. I am having myself an adult beverage. I just got home from my wife's parents' house, and mother and father-in-law are doing great. Papa's doing great. Wanted to talk a little bit about this today before we do any unboxing coming up. Well, we'll have an unboxing video and some prep work. You know what this is. Everybody has been waiting for this. Probably as excited as I am excited right now. That's the 429 block. That's our crank. We've got a fresh, fresh back from the machine shop. And I'm not going to unbox this now we're gonna do a video on that and do a little bit of prep work to the block um yeah so there it is guys it's it's here it's going together this week this week the 429 is going together got to get the heads down off the shelf get those ready to go uh, in this box we've got um you're just gonna have to tune back in and find out um i am really excited this is, um, <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm more excited than a kid in a candy store right now. Uh, <laughs> that crank looks beautiful. You guys can't see it until we do an unboxing, but you can kind of see it a little bit in the bag. Um, I did take a measurement and from right up here in the, in the shop here to back here, uh, the step side, I got a new garbage can. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. I forgot that I had that pencil drum. That's my new garbage can. The black one's going away. But um, the step side will fit in here. It'll actually fit with the bumper right back here and still have some room up uh, up in front. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is we're going to get the Bronco in here, um, get the 351 modified out, get it stuck on this engine stand. We'll put this um, rusty 460 somewhere i do believe we are going to rebuild that at some point in our in our career <laughs> but uh, get the 351 out we'll get it mounted on the engine stand over there we'll get the 429 done by that time get it in the bronco get the bronco out then we'll bring the step side over here and we'll do gaskets and some odds and ends on that 351 modified thinking about actually putting a camshaft in it this go around uh, new top end uh, push rods lifters uh we already got a new timing chain in there but um really waking that 351 up a little bit for my son and uh, then we'll get the, the step side in here and then we'll get the 351 inside of the step side and yeah we got a lot coming up and on top of all that, we still got to go over to Kyle's house and get the um, the two hundred dollar uh, trans the two hundred dollar truck transmission. A little tongue tied there. Uh, get it in the truck and get it running. So I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter Easter today. I know I did, and it's a beautiful day here. I hope everybody had a wonderful day wherever you guys were celebrating Easter at. Yes, got a nice new ProTech box on loan from Papa. Papa let me borrow that. That came out of a, a leased truck that he uh, leased. So he said until he replaces the white truck, I can rock around with that ProTech in the back. It actually looks really good in the dually. I would like to hunt down maybe the ProTech headache rack as well. Um, but anyway, guys. Just a little teaser tonight. Just saying happy Sunday. Happy Easter. Hope all is well. Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. And uh, we have got a lot of lot coming up on the channel. We're going to have multiple build, build videos. I'm going to take my time and kind of go through. This is going to be a learning curve from, curve for myself. And I'm going to probably be asking a lot of your guys as advice because I've never, I've never, I've rebuilt engines before, but I've never start to finish with brand new parts from top to top to bottom. So it's going to be a learning curve for me. And if somebody sees something I'm not doing right, don't, don't hesitate to jump in the comments and, and yell at me a little bit, keep me in line. 
Um, the next video you guys are probably going to see is maybe an unboxing and uh, just kind of prepping this block to get it ready to go together. But maybe, uh, well I know for a fact I've shot this video because it sucked. I took the turbo out of this guy, out of the dually, and I laid it on the workbench and I had to put a new ring inside the turbo. And in this box right here, I bought a used turbo from Facebook Marketplace. And I don't know if I left that. Ah! The box is fighting me. It's still fighting me. Where'd it go? There it is. This, uh, I can't remember the name of this guy. But basically, this uh, moves your veins inside your turbo. And it was hanging up every once in a while. And I took the turbo apart. It's, I don't know if it's going to focus. The camera's not going to focus. There it is. So you can see that little groove right there. My uh, The little lever inside the turbo that moves this back and forth was getting hung up on that nasty groove right there. And uh, so we took it apart. I cleaned the veins, cleaned all the soot out of it. And I dissected that used turbo that I had laying around. And we got we got boost again. We got good boost. And now I'm fighting a map sensor. So I'm going to be putting a map sensor in this next. But we'll have a video on me taking the turbo out and cleaning that. Uh, yeah. So guys, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And stay tuned for Project 429. I am really excited to get started on this block. And I am really, really excited that we're going to actually get a power plant inside the step side soon so with that being said guys see you soon